All right, so today we got out of the scrap bin a uh, mixture cable. This is out of a uh, 172, uh, 172, and uh, this thing was binding. The mechanic let me steal it from him, and you can see here the outer jacketing was rusting on this. So this is probably original to the aircraft. Uh, I think we're missing a detent pin or something as well. There's really not a whole lot to see. Oh man, you can see how hard it is. I should not be struggling to pull that out at all. So that's no good. Stand by. So this is the jacket of the thing. Uh, plastic. Feels like nylon, that standard stuff. You can see here it was being stressed because this should be tightly wound just like this all the way up to the bezel. And you can see it's stretched out here. And I mean, just based on how hard it was for me to pull that out, uh, you know, definitely some serious uh, issues going on. Uh, we can wipe this down and see. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of discoloration here on the wire. So I think this wire itself was starting to rust a little bit. So that's no good. No good at all. So the way this works... Uh, so I guess I should back up for a second. So on airplanes, unlike cars, where you just got a throttle, basically, uh, you can also, because you're changing altitude and whatnot, uh, and they're fully mechanical, there's no electronics that are, that are uh, affecting uh, how, um, how the fuel mixture is and all that. Uh, everything's fully mechanical, so you need to be able to adjust the mixture. Uh, to be able to uh, change the air, you know, that 14 to 1 fuel air ratio as you go up and down. So that's what this control is doing. Now, typically, that's a fairly fine adjustment that you make. Um, I don't think we can really get in here to see. Uh, there did used to be some sort of ball bearing or something in there. So the way this normally works is when you when you let out on this button, it kind of locks in place, but you can twist it. You can see how there's some kind of striations in there because there is, you can just barely make them out. There's some threads in there. So when you, there'll be a little ball bearing that'll sit here. And when you push in on this, the ball bearing falls into the notch. It allows this thing to slide back and forth freely. So, or not that thing, but this thing to slide back and forth freely, right? And then the rest of the time, you can twist it because the ball bearing's engaged on these threads. You can twist it and kind of have a fine adjustment, right? So if you got to move it quickly, you know, to shut down the engine, say, that's typically the way you do it is you cut off the fuel. You push in, you pull out, and the thing shuts down. If you're in flight and you're trying to make a fine adjustment based on, you know, engine temps or whatever, you can just twist this thing and it will slowly work its way out or slowly work its way in. So that's that. This is the new cabling. Uh, McPherson, McFarlane, something like that. There's this green inner coating, which is like nylon or Teflon. This one has a similar thing. You can see it in there when I pull it apart. But it's obviously not in the greatest shape. It's uh, coming apart. And I bet you here at this rust section... Well, it looks like it's more or less intact. So that's actually kind of surprising. I would have thought that that would have uh, gone through. But you can see that, like, when I bend this cable, you can see that the, uh, the jacketing in there is not splitting apart. Unlike this one, which is clearly aged quite well. As I pull it, it just splits right apart there. You can see the stress marks... Stress marks just from me bending it. And this one, not the case, right? It's just maintaining its, uh, or it's, well, the, the casing is maintaining its rigidity. And, you know, this is out under the cowling uh, where it's being exposed to all sorts of solvents, you know, the engine oil and gas and all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, these are just going to wear out every so often. This one made it like 40 years, so... Say they got every plug nickel out of it. But anyway, just thought that was kind of interesting. Thanks for watching.